Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, delighted to be joined by Giorgio Fizioli with Sonny Edwards himself. Giorgio, four rounds, what took you so long? Come on, allow it. But no, but honestly, uh, I had to get. I thought I had to get those um, rounds in tonight. Um, a lot of experience, the boy was a tough guy. Um, game, come from Austria. Um, but no, I broke him down and got him to the body. That southpaw backhand, whether it be straight, uppercut or hook, is a dangerous, dangerous weapon. I mean, now you've shown it three times in, in a row in three previous fights. Your opponents are going to just come in with a tight guard, man. You've, there's no secret anymore that you can bang with that backhand. Well, the guy was telling me after the fight, he knew I, the, 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 that, that backhand. So he was, um, he said to me, he was keeping it up every time. So, but I knew that going into there, that um, the guy was going to keep it up. So I had to break him down a bit and actually go to the body a bit more. And I got him. Was it a body shot? Because he dipped a little bit. And from where I was sitting and even the replay, couldn't quite, I couldn't quite figure it out. Where did it land when you come up with I it? I just watched it back. Um, I got him with a beautiful uppercut. He went back to the, 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 the corner and I went underneath and I got him straight. And I felt, felt great connection, so... Yeah, it was definitely a body shot. I will bring Sonny in because I love to get Sonny. He's, he's, he's an expert when it comes to this boxing game. So I will get one more question from you, Giorgio. Is you had no knockouts in your whole amateur career. I don't know how many amateur fights you've had, but I'd imagine it's up there in the 50s, maybe even 100s. Who knows? But no knockouts. You've just, you've just turned pro. You've had three knockouts in a row, man. Where did that power come from? I don't... I'm not too sure. I think it's... Um you explain. You explain. Yeah, that, that, I'm not. Yeah. I, I, it's hard to explain. I don't really know. Um, it's more. Limit to A. Limit it's more just the speed, really. Yeah, let's bring Sonny because Sonny. I'm, I'm getting older as well. I'm getting man. I feel like I'm not getting fully man strength, but maybe, maybe it's just the man strength coming through. Maybe. Sonny, you know your boxing. Um, where has this power? You know yourself. If you sit on your shots a little bit more, you can develop a little bit more power. But it seems like it's natural to him. It's nothing like he's been working on. Where, where do you think it's came from? Um, well, people need to remember that this is only, what, your sixth year of mm. being a boxer. Forget professional boxer, forget uh, started boxing six years ago. So his amateur career, he was chucked straight in against, you know, youth world medalists and all these fighters. And it's like second and third fight, he's fighting fighters that we've seen on TV now. I mean, Giorgio had to uh, learn a lot, develop a lot, and he still managed to win two senior ABA national titles all in the first five years of his, his boxing ways. journey, in different ways, as, as, he, as he were I like to get that one in. <laughs> but but what, what I mean is, from his background of the kickboxing, he's, he's developed very, um, oh, yeah. a lot of strength, a lot of actual balance, a lot of physical capability when fighting. And now his confidence and his maturity and his training full time, I think Mark Tibbs done another fantastic job um, in this camp preparing him. He can't be here today, but done a great job with Giorgio in the camp. He's been sparring well, he's been training well, he's been fighting well. You ask the power, is it power or can he just throw shots at, with timing and can he just get his feet down in specific positions, fully loaded up, ready to deliver a, a very accurate, sharp, and powerful shot. He's not loading up, he's flowing. He's flowing for every shot and every shot he's getting, I can almost see him setting up. I can almost see his rhythm changes when he's really starting to look for a shot. And what he can do, and if you look at some of his knockouts, okay, it's a bit of a different one today. Um, what he can do is set a trap, give them a target, transfer his body weight backwards, make the right step and throw a shot that lands not only accurately but very explosively and even today he was doing it with his backhand through the middle and without going too much deep into it because um, I know George doesn't really want to maybe he wouldn't have been in the ring tonight if he'd fought in Sheffield Giorgio wasn't missing the opportunity two cards in a row. He had a, a, a little niggle before and he went in with instruction, with discipline and with, you know, for his third fight, his first TV fight, another winning record. A kid coming with a lot of ambition, a kid that was a whole weight above him as well, came in two pounds over. He was a, he was a bigger fight and coming in above the weight that was agreed, but he doesn't complain. Giorgio didn't care. Um, doesn't matter what sort of was going on in the background. He's a proper, proper fighter. All he wants to do is, I can already tell Okay, he's already got his next fight sort of already promised and, uh, and agreed or wait for Matchroom to announce it but it's good that they really they want him you can see Eddie likes him Eddie jumping in the ring for a 3-0 kid that he never heard of about six months ago is almost alien in, in my opinion super featherweight 20 years old very very bright future ahead of George 21 sorry now George, 21 years old I'm just trying to make it sound better yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 21 now um, but 3-0 three, three 
all against winning records and really looking like he's doing it well within himself. Sounds like you're saying timing and precision beats power and speed with Jojo and that's probably, I think Conor McGregor coined that phrase maybe, but how far can this kid go? I looked at BoxRec and asked you about an hour ago when he came out of the ring there, I said, is he a lightweight? And you said, no, 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 he's a super featherweight. And you said maybe if he trains hard or maybe put, if he really wants to, he can go down to featherweight. I mean, I'm looking at you right now, George. You're, you're, you're quite a, if you were a super featherweight featherweight, you'd be a massive featherweight. If he was older, this size, this shape, We'd probably be looking to push him at featherweight, but... Feather or super? Well, at feather, at, if you was older. Say if you was this size and this shape at like 28, 29, mm. probably, yeah, let's try and get him down to feather and be one of the biggest at the weight. But mm. he's got a lot of growing, a lot of developing, super feather, and then ending up a bit heavier than that. Made I one, think he's... Made one, one, three, four, pretty, pretty much easy, really easy. So that's under the, well, that's under the yeah. lightweight limit, so super featherweight's I probably... probably have even got even more down, I reckon, yeah. but I didn't try. I haven't tried before, but um, I probably, probably would be able to... So. Well, that's, again, the Super Featherweight division is one of the divisions that has always been stellar here in the UK. We've just had Joe Cardina and Kakachi um, fight out for the title. It's always been a good division here in the UK. We've always had a, a conveyor belt yeah. of world champions in this division. And I know you're only 3-0. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, Sonny. So I'll ask you, how far can this kid go? Um, genuinely, I believe, just like a lot of fighters in this level and this position, they can go all the way. Usually what makes them fall short isn't really their ability or what they're doing in the ring. Sometimes it's their lifestyle, sometimes it's their mindset. Um, I've met a lot of fighters, uh, I've been around a lot of gyms, um, a lot of camps. And Giorgio, and I'm not just saying this because he's here next to me, he's got one of those where you almost don't feel like you need to worry about him. He, he, he comes out of fight week, he's not thinking about all the holidays he can take, so all the nights out and he can be the man and everyone walk around like he's famous. He literally only cares about fighting again. He, the, the conversations are so easy. George is when am I fighting next? And he's straight back in the gym. He'll probably be running Monday, probably Sunday if you let him. Like, that's true, Giorgio? He, he, he doesn't, no, 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 seriously. Like, it's like, he, he, mo he, it's funny, like with Giorgio, it's like, you see a kid that has just dedicated his whole life to fighting and in between he just sits there and scrolls TikTok. <laughs> yeah. And then goes back to no, the honestly, you don't, you don't see too much on social. I don't put too much of my training on, but I genuinely believe I, I, I do it in quite, I do it in silence. Um, it's not just the training. It's everything, really. It's the food. It's the everything. I do it all right. Um, I don't pie. I don't do nothing. It's just boxing fully. So, and it's it. You're seeing the results. Sometimes for a fighter to get to that level, world level, unified champion, whatever, you need to have the skill set which you've got. You need to have the discipline which it seems you've got. You need to be able to sell tickets which you've got. And I tell you what, a cool name like Giorgio Fisioli, that might help as well because that's like a like a Sonny Edwards, like a Hollywood name. Do you know what I mean? Hollywood. Everyone, that's his nickname. Every, Hollywood. Every, that's his nickname. Hollywood because everyone, he he acts like a superstar. Did you see his changing room today? I walked that, in his changing room. His, his third fight. Yeah, he had his old home changing room. Yeah, he I had don't two. Think I'm a superstar. He had two, others that do. He had two girls in bikinis. <laughs> and, 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 that's he, true. he had two girls in bikini. He had <laughs> he had sponsor. I couldn't believe it. I've been world champion. I've not even had that changing room. I didn't know what was going on. So you need to up your game, Sonny. Come on. Hollywood. I'm just gonna keep coming to his change room. I don't need to. I don't like, need a Hollywood. Name. You got a name like mine. You don't need one. One final. What? This, this is good. I'll leave. I'll end it on this. Giorgio, obviously, you know, three and zero. You've started your career perfectly. Yeah. It seems your perfect record. Um, what's the sort of uh, goal for this calendar year for yourself? I've said on previous, just fights. Really learn, uh, learn the craft, and uh, do more rounds. Like, like today, I did more rounds. I felt like. Hey. I did take one or two, not one or two, but I took it enough, and, and I thought it was all right. But um, but yeah, no, uh, just more, just experience. That's all it is. Definitely. Well, Joe, good to see you again, brother. You, Sonny, you. always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, mate. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, thank, thank you. you. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.